these little gargoyles that they have loosed from their loins. A lot of these professional mommies, boy, they think there's nothing better than having a baby. Oh, they think it's the biggest thing in the world. Like it's a big event, having a baby. I call it pumping out a unit. That's, that's all they're doing. That's all they're doing, pumping out a fucking unit. Boom, boom. Boom. Like, well, some of them like assembly lines, like a factory. Boom. Every fucking year. Boom. Hey, Jeff, want a kid? Boom. How about twins? Boom. Boom. Polluting the earth. Polluting the earth with these creatures. Who we'll have no future. <laughs> they have no future. Have you pictured what this planet is going to be like in 40 to 50 years? It's going to be a big smoking ball of shit. <laughs> a big smoking, flaming, stinking ball of gaseous shit. That's what's going to happen. That's what's going to happen. It's irresponsible to have more than one child. Have one. Have one child. Replacement value for yourself. That's all. Don't even replace your husband. Don't replace your husband. No. He's done enough fucking damage as it is. But they want to show you the pictures. Sometimes they warn you, you know, that's good. They say, hey, you want to see some pictures of my kid? No. Just describe them to me. But they show you and, uh, there are two ways you can handle it. I have found two ways to handle the pictures. The first is the easy way. You just kind of take it all in stride, matter-of-factly, go along with the game. Ooh, huh? Boy. Ooh. Girl. Yeah. Older boy. Older girl. Good. Four. Listen, I have to go wash my crotch. I'll see you later. <laughs> and you get the fuck out of there. Or you can do what I do. You can do what I do. Be a little honest about what you see. Take a chance. Tell the truth. Look at the fucking head on that kid. Jesus, where do you get a fucking head like that? Holy, that thing is huge. Have you put them on YouTube yet? <laughs> Boy, you got a lot of hits with a head like that. Or put them on eBay, you might make a little money, you know? I'm sure some European circus would snap his ass up in a fucking minute, boy. God damn, that thing is unusual. <laughs> Listen, maybe he'll grow into it. You never know with kids, huh? Hey, let me ask you a practical question. Where do you find hats for a kid like that? Tell the truth, don't be bullshitting people. Don't be bullshitting, there's enough bullshit as it is, folks. There's plenty of bullshit. Then they want to show you the pictures of the little girl whose second teeth are coming in. And they think it's cute. It's not. It's fucking horrifying. Did you ever look at the teeth coming in on some of these kids? Did you ever take a good close look actually in the mouth? Take a look and see different, I think sometimes they get two, three rows of fucking teeth coming in. All odd angles, there's one under the tongue, that's unusual. <laughs> a sublingual tooth, what do you know, huh? Once again, tell the truth. You better start saving your money right now, pal. It's gonna cost you a fucking fortune to fix that. You are gonna need an international team of orthodontists around the clock. Just to make it dead. You might want to call FEMA. That looks like a real fucking problem. <laughs> yeah, you have the number of the National Guard. Give them a ring. Hey, that's good. Listen, uh, why don't you just have them all pulled and let her start over again, you know? Or take a picture of her with her mouth closed. That would save you a lot of heartache in the long run. Listen, you're not Catholic by any chance, are you? Well, the reason I ask you is you might want to take her to Lourdes and pray for a miracle over there. Tell the truth. Don't be bullshitting people. Like I say, there's enough bullshit as it is. There's enough bullshit as it is. In fact, there's just enough. Did you know that? There's just enough bullshit to hold things together in this country. Bullshit is the glue 
that binds us as a nation. Where would we be without our safe, familiar American bullshit? Land of the free, home of the brave, the American dream, all men are equal, justice is blind, the press is free, your vote counts. <laughs> Business is honest, the good guys win, the police are on your side, God is watching you, your standard of living will never decline, and everything is going to be just fine. The official national bullshit story. I call it the American Okie Doke. Everyone, every one of those items is provably untrue at one level or another, but we believe them because they're pounded into our heads from the time we're children. That's what they do with that kind of thing. Pounded into the heads of kids because they know that children are much too young to be able to muster an intellectual defense against a sophisticated idea like that. And they know that up to a certain age, children believe everything their parents tell them. And as a result, they never learn to question things. Nobody questions things in this country anymore. Nobody questions anything. Everybody's too fat and happy. Everybody's got a cell phone that'll make pancakes and rub their balls in it. <laughs> Way too fucking prosperous for our own good. Way too fucking prosperous. Americans have been bought off in silence by toys and gizmos, and no one learns to question things. You remember? You learn to question things.